Georgie! We're out here in Australia, in central New South Wales, and we're at a feedlot. I've came out here to find out exactly how good meat is made, but because I can't communicate with the cows, I'm gonna have to talk to someone who knows a bit more than I do. Who the hell is this guy, you ask? Well, my name is Andrew Eucles. Normally, I'm a wild man, survivalist, and all-round animal enthusiast, and today, I'm going to be getting to the bottom of animal welfare on cattle feedlots. Andrew? Andrew, you there? Georgie! Dr. Fisher! Hello! What are you doing down there? I'm looking for you. Well, you're lucky because today you've met a very intelligent man. And it's great to meet someone which is very knowledgeable as well. But today, we're going to be talking a little bit about animal welfare. Let me get down there. So animal welfare is a very broad subject. But what exactly does it mean out here on the feedlot? Well, I think animal welfare is important to ensure that the needs of the cattle are met. And we often talk about the five freedoms of animal welfare. First of those is freedom from hunger and thirst by provision of water and appropriate diet. So the housing component is obviously very important as well. So tell me, why is it so important for them to be so comfortable? Well, any animal needs a comfortable resting place. So one that is you know, well drained and secure underfoot, sufficient space to, to lie down. And also we talk about thermal comfort. And so, for example, here today, if we actually have a look, it's a warm really day, it's hot. Where are the animals? Well, they're actually under the shade that's provided here in the feedlot for them. Hey, Bessie, how you going? So what's the plan? What, what are we doing today? So we'll have you on the horse yep. in the pens with the cattle, with Carly and Bush. Beautiful. And you'll be looking for any cattle that need to be removed from the pen that okay. might be sick. Well, I, I haven't had much experience with horses and, you know, particularly when I'm doing stuff, I'm doing stuff on the ground. My feet are always on the ground, so it's a little bit different to be suspended a metre and a half up in the air. But um, let's see how it goes. I'm excited. Riding a horse is a bit like riding a new car, you just got to get used to the clutch and the brake. I'll tell you what, like coming here to the property, I had these, you know, these different misconceptions, I guess. I was expecting um, them to be on like quad bikes or motorbikes banging around, but um, you know, they have such a great understanding of the animal's behaviour. They're just like, well, pretty much like an animal psychologist, aren't they? They do, yeah. They have to be able to pick out what's normal, what's abnormal. Yeah. Um, they're with the cattle every day. Um, they get used to, to working with them in their environment. So, yeah, we certainly aren't lassoing them or fanging around on motorbikes, yeah. yeah. Okay, this is the barley grain we use at Gundamain Feedlot. We try to keep all the fine objects out of the grain. <laughs> What do you mean you try, Andrew? You're not doing a very good job, are you? Oh, I have to sack my mill man, I think. <laughs> as you can see, it smells really nice. You can eat yourself as you do. Doesn't yeah. look too bad. Yeah, beautiful, like a music bar in the morning. You've got it like molasses, you can taste that sweetness which yeah. is in there. So what's the life of a cow? Now, so do they spend their entire time here? Or how does it work? No. They spend most of their lives um, out in paddocks and then they're brought into a feedlot. The cattle here stay here at most 100 days and quite a number of these cattle are here only 60 or 70 days. So most of their lives are out in a paddock. All right, Tucci, well, I've literally stepped into the life of a cow today and, um, well, I've walked alongside you, I've talked to your psychologist, I've talked to your doctor and I've even ate your food. It's a pretty easy life being a cow, but, um, you know, there's this weird sort of frequency that I've been, that I've been getting. Okay, and that's it. So pretty much what he wants you to do is he wants you to either subscribe or watch more videos. Now there's a lot of learning to be done. And I'll tell you what, I've learned a lot today. Hey, is that right, mate? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Look at those little blue earrings you got. Hey. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to be going to the pub later on to have a couple of drinks because it's been fun day, hasn't it? Yes, it has. You're resting your nose. Yeah, he's definitely sick of me. Hey, 